Well, after about a three-hour bumpy and windy ride from Antigua, we arrived at Panahachel, the entry point to Lake Atitlan. All things are worth waiting for. Oh, wow. There are many different kinds of accommodations you can find around Lake Atitlan. We found this really amazing house on Airbnb, and the house also came with a dock. And so we had a groundskeeper here call us a private boat to take us across Lake Atitlan. Get all your boats everywhere you want to go. We took a boat across Lake Atilan from Panahachel to the village of San Juan La Laguna. It's a little bit of a bumpy boat ride, but that's nothing compared to a tuk-tuk. We are in the uh, tuk-tuk. And we arrived to Casa Flor Ixcaco. This is a weaving co-op run by indigenous women entrepreneurs, where you can also see a live weaving demonstration. And I tell you, be sure to ask for Delfina. She's the best. And you could either walk back down the hill or take a tuk-tuk back to the docks. Just enjoyed our time in San Juan. What a beautiful town and a beautiful setting beautiful people really we're about to get on the boat here but uh we had a splendid time and you will too and lake Antilan is also famous for the paragliding activities that take place here that's not for me but many many others enjoy it We were here in May, which is the beginning of the rainy season in Guatemala. It clouds up every afternoon and the lake gets a little choppy, but you know, if you got a nice window to sit back and enjoy the beautiful sunsets, they are just iconic here at Lake Atilan. They're different every day, uh, no matter what time of the year you're here. And, you know, even if you're here during the rainy season, it's, it's oftentimes a really nice time to just relax in the afternoon, enjoy the views of the lake and the rain. And you might get some really nice uh, sunsets. And um, just, you know, you'll want to probably be inside during this time because it will, uh, it will produce some violent storms. And, uh, but it's a great place to storm watch as well. And we did a little bit of that.
We actually got ourselves over to Hotel Atitlan, which is a wonderful place to stay. But even if you can't stay there, you can have a nice dinner there by the pool and enjoy some of the storms that might heat up in the summer afternoons. Even in the rainy season, though, the mornings are beautiful at Lake Atilad, where the lake is just really still. It's really a great place to get up early and enjoy the water activities on the lake and get the great views of these iconic volcanoes surrounding it. You might even have to scratch your eyes a little bit and ask yourself, is this real life? The answer is always yes, if real life is Lake Atitlan. Wow. The main entry point for most people into Lake Atilan is Panahachal. There's plenty of places to shop and eat. One of the great things about Panahachal as well is you can get a boat to almost any of the other villages around the lake. You could do a private boat for a little bit more money or you can get on one of the public boats. On this particular day, we took a private boat over to the village of Santa Catarina Palopo, which is just a beautiful village on the side of the mountain. We actually found Catarina Palopo to be a very quiet village, not any tourist at all in this particular time in May of 2021. Uh, and actually, you know, locals, it was pretty sleepy as well for them, but uh, really just a beautiful place, lots of colors, and uh, just a nice place to walk around for a little bit. We actually walked up the hill about 20 minutes to a nice lookout point, got a nice cup of coffee, and took our last afternoon to take in a last breath of fresh air of Lake Atilan. And then we headed back over to Panahachel to get some food and walk around a bit. These restaurants in Panahachel are just empty. This is supposed to be the hopping part of Lake Atilan, and yet this is what COVID has destroyed all these people's welfare. Empty, empty, empty. This is the uh, commercial center. Look at this, empty. These people are here all day. Their stores are open. There's no one visiting. Why? Because of all the COVID shutdowns. That's why. This is who this is affecting. We took some food back to the house to beat the storms, and it was also a really great time to storm watch from the home overlooking Lake Atilan. There Whoa. it is. Well, we are here on our final day at Lake Atitlan. Uh, this is actually the deepest lake in Central America. Uh, in the center point, believe it or not, it is 1120 feet deep. And um, this lake goes back, its history actually 11 million years ago, uh, it was basically uh, a volcano here. And there was many eruptions and of course, uh, the volcano then ceded to exist, but then all these other volcanoes, you know, continue to form around it over the uh, millions of years or so. That's what we got here, but uh, it's just beautiful. And it is actually 6.20 a.m., pretty light here on a uh, late May day. Um, and it is like so still. But right around noon, this lake will get choppy. In the afternoon, it's real choppy. In the days that we've been here, it has actually stormed about 5 o'clock uh, p.m. For, for, for several hours. And you get just magnificent... <laughs> Uh, views of uh, some storms here as well so but it's been a beautiful place uh, Ernest Hemingway called this the most beautiful lake in the world and after spending a couple days here uh, you will you will know why I mean just look at it right here on this video which just doesn't even do it justice all right come to Lake Atitlan the most beautiful lake in the world